Hey everyone, welcome back to Magdalene's Craft and welcome all newcomers. This is going to be a timeless reading about money and career. So I had like three to four people request this topic within the same week. So I thought it was a sign to go ahead and do this topic, so I will. So again, this is a timeless reading on money and career. You guys have three piles to choose from. Pile one, you guys are going to be smoky Amazonite. So the smoky Amazonite for pile number one. Pile number two, you guys are going to be pyrite. So the pyrite stone for pile number two. And for pile number three, you guys are going to be hematite. So this is actually a geode, a hematite geode. And there's some bird feathers in there. But So hematite for pile number three. Okay, so go ahead and choose your crystal, your card, your pile intuitively, and we're gonna go ahead and get into your reading. Welcome, pile number one. If you chose this smoky Amazonite, this is going to be your timeless reading on money and career. So I will be using tarot for this. I will have to make this kind of a quick reading because I do have a lot of plans today. Three of Wands. We have Page of Pentacles. Five of Swords. And Six of Swords. And then I also have a Success Oracle. <clears throat> so we'll pull a couple from the success oracle as well my stomach's growling I always film before I eat breakfast that's so unhealthy but I do <laughs> so okay wisdom bootstrapping and feasibility analyst so I feel like you guys have a lot to be proud of um, regarding your work performance. You should be proud of your work performance even if you haven't seen the rewards or the success that you expected from this. You should still be very proud of yourself. So some of you, you haven't seen the rewards that you expected out of this job. Um, but you should be proud of your, your work ethic. You should be proud of your work performance regardless. Uh, others of you, if you're looking for employment, you're going to find a job that's going to be a better fit for you than you expected. Um, so just keep having faith and hold your head up high right now. Also know that you bring a lot to the table, whether you're employed or unemployed, just know that you do bring a lot to the table when it comes to your job or whatever job um, accepts you, hires you. I feel like your hard work is about to pay off, but I feel like you feel like it's not going to happen or I feel like you feel like you're not seeing it in the future for you, but I'm seeing it for you. Your hard work will pay off, but I'm seeing where you guys are starting to lose faith or lose hope and spirit is saying to not lose faith. Just hang in there because you, you are about to be rewarded for your amazing work ethic and uh, work performance at your job or at this job that you're about to get. Also make sure that you're not overextending yourself financially to your friends or family. Uh, make sure that you're saving money as well. Um, I feel like you share your wealth or you're being guided to share your wealth in the future. But don't be like too much. Um, some of you, you're going to see these uh, financial rewards at your job or at this new job. And it's going to make you want to be very generous and that's fine. Spirit is wanting you to be generous, but just make sure you're not like overextending yourself financially as well. Okay. So with the page of Pentacles, this is making me think of someone running out of time. I don't know if any of you guys saw the movie Babylon. It came out a few months ago. It was really good. I highly recommend it, even though it's like three hours long. Um, this is making me think of the directors that were put under a lot of pressure um, not the actual directors on that movie. I mean, maybe they were put under pressure. Who knows? You know, those jobs are 
a lot of work, but the movie was about movie making and it was showing directors being under pressure, feeling like they didn't have enough time or something like that, just kind of freaking out. And I feel like at your job, you feel like you have a lot of work to do, but not enough time to do it. Um, and if you're unemployed, this is you feeling like, okay, I don't have time to waste. I need a job right now. I'm running out of time. I need a job now. So different situations for different people. The spirit is saying to remain to have faith because the three of wands is coming for you. It's just, I'm seeing where you feel like you don't have enough time at your job to finish everything that needs to be done or you feel like you don't have enough time like you're running out of time when it comes to finding a job i feel like you guys are old fashioned good workers um you're definitely someone that you know if i had my own business i probably would want to hire you pal one because your work ethic and everything is really really good but unfortunately sometimes the rewards for that can come in slow and I'm seeing where you guys are kind of struggling with that, but don't lose hope, don't lose faith. Also make sure not to gamble too much at this time. Don't make unrealistic purchases or unnecessary purchases. Be realistic about your money, about your spending at this time until these rewards do pay off for you. Um, some of you are not being fairly compensated and Spirit is wanting you to make a change. Uh, whether that's you finding a different job that's going to compensate you the way you should or whether that's you talking to the boss, the manager and being like, hey, I need to get paid more um, for the work I'm doing. So just definitely different messages for different people. Spirit is also wanting you to invest more of your money instead of spending it. So invest more, spend less. Um, look into safe some sort of safe investment for someone very specific. With the Five of Swords, this is you. If, if you are at a job, this is you just kind of take getting tired of some shit, to be honest. Um, some of you are expecting the entire job system to change just, be, just because you feel like it should be changed or just because you feel like it should be different. Um, there's nothing wrong with how you speak your mind. Um, you should speak your mind at the workplace. Um, but just make sure that you like, I don't know why I'm here and watch your tone or just like watch how you speak in general. Like you can say the same thing, but it's like, it's your tone is how you deliver your message. So your tone can make it a positive or a negative. If, so just wa make sure you're watching your tone if you're talking to like a boss or a manager um, and it will help deliver your message better to them. And I feel like you're wanting to speak to a boss or manager or you're wanting to change something at the workplace because you feel like something is unfair. Um, but just make sure that if you're pointing fingers at someone that you don't have like dirt in your, you know, on you as well or something like that, or make sure that they don't, that they can't point fingers back at you or I don't know. It's more so of me here and like make sure your your name is clean before you start like pointing fingers at someone because if you if your hands are not clean in something or if someone has dirt on you and you go and you tell your boss or manager something like hey this is unfair that other person may end up bringing you up or throwing you under the bus. You see what I'm saying? So just like be careful however you play this work situation for some of you. Um, some of you are being guided to sell things that you don't need anymore. Um, maybe even cut expenses that you don't really need anymore that you don't use. Um, some of you may be guided to ask for financial help when it comes to like budgeting or accounting or something like that. And with the Six of Swords, this is you definitely being in, in the energy of you trying to make a decision whether or not to leave a job with six of swords i think some of you are actually going to make the decision to leave and you're going to find a job somewhere else that pays you better or treats you better or something like that i just feel like some of you are wanting to leave a job that just no longer works for you and i feel like you are being called to trust the universe to trust the universe that it's taking you to where you want to be and what you need and that everything is happening for a reason right now um, some of you may literally change locations, like business locations. You may go work from one office and end up working at a different location, but yet the same business, just a different location. 
Um, some of you may end up working in a completely different town or city or state, but I'm hearing that this is a good thing. Also, if you've been struggling financially, I really see that things are gonna get better for you in the future here. Spirit is saying, you know, treat yourself, do treat yourself, um, but also don't gamble your money, don't like overspend your money, don't overextend your money as well. You can spend a little bit of money here and there on yourself or on people, but don't just go like overboard with it. So you guys have wisdom. It says, what is your attitude towards failure? Where have you failed in this and past ventures? Are there patterns? What can you learn from your failures and do differently? Who has a similar personality or business model to yours that you can learn from? It says failure burns, but it, it's not failure if you learn from it. It breeds perseverance, it teaches, it motivates, it humbles, Fail early and repeat until you get it right. So some of you may feel like you have failed at something, but you haven't. It's not failure if you learn from it, okay? Um, it's actually pushing you towards success. Um, you guys also have the bootstrapping card. I feel like you guys, this treasure chest, this is your future income, your future salary. It, it may be locked away at the moment, but it is coming for you. I'm sorry if you hear noises in the background. My cat is playing with a plastic bag. PRP, one second. It says, how can you control cost to extend your runway? Can you recruit friends, students to help you for free? Can you keep your job or switch to a part-time work? So some of you are like really indecisive. If you want to stay at your job, change jobs, change job schedules, something here. It says, there's an easy, is there an easier cash flow business you can do first until this one is more stable? Okay, some of you may have even tried starting a business or started working online and maybe you feel like it flopped or it failed. And Spirit is saying no to keep trying. Just learn from it and keep trying. But also make sure you have steady income as well because a lot of times people... Um, will like quit their job or something for, you know, to start their own business. But this is saying, you know, just make sure you have some sort of stable income if you're trying to start your own business or if you're trying to work online or something. Um, make sure you, you first have some sort of stable income just in case because some of you are in the trial and error phase of starting a business. Um, so just make sure you have some other income in the meantime. Um, others of you, you may be looking for another job and it's telling you to stay at your current job until you get hired on to another one. Um, so yeah, different messages for different people. Then this card says, will your solution actually sell and how can you tell? How many people desire it? At what price? And can you reach them? Factoring in all the direct and indirect costs required to market and supply your product, is it profitable? When will you break even? A good product doesn't automatically mean a good business. Get second opinions to review your assumptions when evaluating if your business makes economic sense. Often the ideal result is not to go forward. It says, do not become so attached to any one belief that you cannot see past it another possibility. Okay, so some of you are putting yourself in a box or you're putting your beliefs in a box. Or you're putting your potential in a box and you need to stop doing that. You need to extend yourself elsewhere, elsewhere, whether it's like a different job or a different job location or a different job schedule. Um, or shift or something like that, or if this is you wanting to start a business, stop putting yourself in some kind of box here. Um, and just continue with this trial and error process until you get it right. Because you do have future money, future success, future abundance, a future salary, income. It's locked away. The universe that has it locked away at the moment, but it is yours. This treasure chest is yours with your name on it. But the universe doesn't want to give you the key to this yet. Just keep having faith. Keep having hope. 
Make sure you have a, a certain income while you're looking elsewhere or while you're starting a business. Um, Cause you don't want to just lose income and then just be left with nothing while you're trying to start something or look for a new job. Um, but I do see you progressing and doing better, but you just got to hang in there a little bit longer. And for some reason I keep hearing, watch your tone. Uh, maybe it's with a boss or a manager. I feel like it's with an unfair situation at work. So rightfully and understandab understandably, you're probably annoyed or pissed or fed up, right? And that can show in your in the tone of your voice. So just be careful with that. Um, for some reason, it, it keeps showing me to warn someone of their tone um, because it may affect your opportunities or your abundance or something like that, or it may affect you getting your point across effectively. So different messages for different people. Some of the numbers I am seeing are 17, 98, 8, and 7. Someone here could be born in 1998. Someone here could be born in the month of August or July. Someone could be born on the 17th or 8th or 7th day of any month. So different messages for different people. Take it resonates, leave it doesn't. I love and appreciate you guys so much. And we're going to move on to pile number two. Welcome, pile number two. If you chose the pyrite stone, the pyrite card, this is going to be your timeless reading on your money and career. Ooh. So we have the emperor. This could be a pile for my divine masculines, but it doesn't have to be. But it could be. We have five of pentacles, the lovers, queen of wands. Market Legal Tees, Brand Style Guide, and Market Research. So with the Emperor card, this is you. I believe this is your energy, whether you are a female or male, doesn't matter. This is just, you know, showing and saying that your efforts are not going unnoticed. Um, pay attention to logic when it comes to work. Make sure that you're following through with things at work. Make sure that you're very organized at work. Um, and I feel like your results at work will become very, very good. Or at least better than what they were. Um, if you guys are looking for a job, now is a really good time to step outside of your comfort zone or step outside of yourself. And really think and see how others see you from a logical point of view. And like, ask yourself, like, why should this person hire me? Like, look at, I'm not saying anything's wrong with you, but for some reason, spirit is wanting you to really look at how you present yourself, like in a job interview, like, what are you wearing? How do you conduct yourself? What is your tone? You know, you know what I mean? It's like, would you hire you? Would you hire yourself type of energy? And I think you would, because I do feel like, you know, like I said, if you're at a job, your efforts are not going unnoticed and things should be going well for you at your job or at least about to be even better. But for those of you that are unemployed, I feel like you would do well at a job, but just make sure that you're like really nailing the interview, like dressing accordingly, acting accordingly, um, having a really good resume, you know, already printed out for them. Just, you know, stuff like that. Do you have like a really good speech when it comes to what you can bring to the table, like really convince the person to hire you. Be like, look, I am a asset to any company I work for. I mean, you don't really have to say it like that or say that word for word, but you know you're a good asset to any company or any business. So you've got to convey that to whoever's hiring you. I feel like you're gonna be very successful in finding a job. Do you approach looking for a job at a very logical point of view? 
Also make sure that you are have a logical perspective when it comes to your finances as well. Make sure you are practicing discipline when it comes to your finances. Make sure that you're treating your money with like respect, um, like Get logical and respectful when it comes to your finances. Like make sure that you know how much money you have, where it's going, um, how much you're spending, how much you're saving. Some of you need to pay more attention to like your bank account or your bank state statements. I'm also hearing download the app Mint. I personally have never used it, but there's this app called Mint and you download it and it's supposed to like help you figure out like where your money's going, like how much you spend on XYZ every month or something like that. And it's an app called Mint. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I downloaded it like two months ago and I still haven't used it, but I'm here. That may help someone here. Um, if any of you are very focused on what you don't have right now, because some of you are very focused on like a lack mindset when it comes to money or materialistic things and spirit is saying to not to stop focusing on lack or stop focusing on what you don't have. Make sure that you're paying attention to what you do have and that you're very grateful for what you do have and that's gonna help manifest more for you in the future. Um, anytime you're grateful about any little thing that you have or that you receive, it promotes a manifestation for more to come in in the future. So just make sure that you're practicing gratitude. If some of you are very stuck in this five of pentacles mindset or you're very stuck in lack or um, maybe you have a negative mindset when it comes to money uh, maybe some of you so i heard some of you were not taught correctly how to handle money or you were not something like that for, that could resonate for some someone um, some of you could be looking at what other people have and spirit is saying to stop doing that like some of you, you feel like you've been left out in the cold, okay? And maybe you literally have, maybe something unfairly happened to you to where you were in lack, but you are being guided to make the choice, make a choice to move on from this type of mindset with the lover's card. Because even though the lover's is the lover's, the lover's is also about making a choice. And I feel like Spirit is saying you need to make a choice to move on from this five of pentacles mindset or perspective. Some of you, you could have got been left out out in the cold because of a love situation. Maybe some of you lost a lot of money or possessions or materialistic things because of a divorce or maybe your parents divorce or maybe, I don't know, something to do with love. Like maybe you being in a situation in love has put you in, now in a situation of lack. Um, or maybe this is your parents. Like maybe your parents didn't work out or something and that put you in a, a state of lack. There's something here that's making you think this way or view this things this way. Or seeing that you have a choice to move on from this mindset. And once you do, you guys are about to be very successful, especially if you're self-employed because the Seven of Wands is a card about self-employment. Um, and I feel like, I do feel like you guys are going to end up being self-employed or have your own business or something like that. And it's going to pay off, but you have to make this decision to get out of this lack mindset so that you can be successful with your business here. As long as you're willing to put in the required time and required effort it takes to be self-employed, I do see this happening. Just make sure that you're doing your homework, you're studying, you know, whatever it is you need to study about regarding your business that you want to start. And I do think it will be successful, but you have to make sure that you're putting the, a lot of time and effort and energy into this. Also, I'm getting the message like in poll number one that if you're wanting to be self-employed, make sure you're not like leaving a job to start a business. If you can try to juggle both um, just to be just to play it safe until your, your business starts to kind of take off or you feel comfortable enough to leave your job. It says, are certain licenses or requirements needed to deliver your products? So some of you need to get licensed for something or you need to meet some sort of requirements. Maybe some of you need to take some sort of test or pay for a license or something like that. Some of you may need to get some sort of LLC for your business. Um, some of you, if you're wanting to start a business, you need to look into how to market your business as far as like, uh, taxes, data, packaging, 
labor, design, uh, designing things, stuff like that. Like look into all of that. Um, it also says who can advise you that is running a similar business. So maybe some of you need to get some sort of business advice from someone doing something similar to you. We have brand style guide as well. It says which brand archetypes best represents your value proposition to your customers and which colors, fonts, words, and speaking patterns represent that. So they're really wanting you guys to like market yourself. This is giving me like influencer vibes. It's giving me self-employment vibes for sure. You actually have two market cards. So make sure that you're dotting your I's and crossing your T's when it comes to your research, your homework, and when it comes to the legal aspects of starting this business. It says, have you checked lately if your product exists elsewhere? And if it doesn't, why hasn't it been done? And why haven't you heard of it? Or why have others failed at trying to do it? It says, and if it does exist, what can you do better or different? So definitely research the products, research the content, research whatever it is you're doing that you want to become self-employed in. Um, it also says the first step when determining whether to go forward with the business idea is the easiest and most overlooked. Google it. Bonus points for asking experts. So it's saying look before you leap. So definitely do a lot of research before you just jump into whatever this is. Um, it says your brand personality archetype like hero or rebel is the unconscious persona that communicates your role in the customer's life. Use a style guide document to present voice and visuals consistent with that persona. So you need to figure out like what kind of, how do you want to come across? Whether it's you, whether if you're marketing yourself, how do you want to come across as a person? When people see you, when people hear you, uh, your personality, how you look, you need to figure out how to actually market you as a person. If this is a business, um, and you're selling something or selling a surface, surface, selling a service. Maybe somebody here wants to sell counter surfaces. I don't know. I didn't mean to say that. But if you're wanting to sell a service, how do you want to style and brand and market those products or those services? Um, so that is something that Spirit is wanting you to really look into. And just make sure, I'm hearing you have all control in your life. You are the director of your own life. And to get out of this five of pentacles energy, this five of pentacles mindset, um, because you will, your business will gain momentum. It will. Um, I feel like your marketing will go very well as long as you're doing your research or homework and dotting your I's, crossing your T's, even when it comes to like legal stuff, legal matters. Um, make sure that you're doing everything under like legal guidelines or something like that with your business. But that's everything that I'm seeing, you guys. I love and appreciate you guys so much. Some of the numbers I see are 14, 25, 2, and 24. So that's everything I'm seeing, and we're going to move on to pile number three. Welcome, pile number three. If you chose hematite, this is going to be your timeless reading on work and career messages. So let's see what comes out. We're going to be using tarot. We're also going to be using an oracle deck that I have. Um, so let's see what comes out. Career and finance messages for pile number three. So we have the lovers that came out in pile two as well. We have three of wands that came out in pile one. <laughs> We have Eight of Wands and The Fool. Okay. You're giving me a lot of travel energy. Some of you may be traveling for work or traveling for business or moving for a job or something like that. I want the lovers, this is you facing a choice or a decision related to work or business. 
Um, just try to make your best choice possible. Um, some of you think that there's something bad happening at work, but it's actually going to work out in your favor. So if there's anything that you're interpreting to be bad at work, it's actually something that's going to work out in your favor. Um, some of you need to be cautious about mixing business with pleasure, business with sex, romance, okay? Um, and if you do choose to go down that route, because I don't like to tell people what to do, just make sure you know what you're getting into, okay? Make sure you know what you're signing up for. If you guys are mixing business with pleasure, if you're hooking up with a boss, a manager, a coworker, a client, customer, anything like that. Um, some of you are very indecisive about dating or seeing someone or talking to someone or sleeping with someone because they're in your work life. So some of you may be indecisive on whether or not you wanna pursue this connection at work. And if you do, Spirit's just saying to um, make sure you know what you're signing yourself yourself up for. So <laughs> somebody, some of you may lose track of finances because of love. Uh, you may get so wrapped up in love that you lose track of money or you lose track of work responsibilities. So don't put love as your number one priority. Make sure that you're balancing love and your love life and your work life. With the Eight of Wands and the Lovers, this could even be you waiting on someone else to make a decision. So either you guys are trying to make a decision when it comes to work or either you're waiting on someone else in the workplace to make a decision for you or make a decision that would activate something that would change for you or something, you know, I don't know. But it's like you're trying to make a decision or there's someone at your workplace where their decision may be be how like something plays out for you i feel like the outcome of this will be positive um just don't try to push co-workers or bosses managers clients don't be pushy with people before they're ready um, to work with you or to make a decision regarding you just be patient you're also being called to be patient especially when it comes to I'm hearing getting like on an airplane, like traveling far, something about traveling very far. Like if you're wanting to like go out of the country or travel, like this is a long travel. I don't think this is like traveling, you know, like within your, your town or an hour or two away or something like that. This is like long distance travel. You're being guided to put this on a pause for financial reasons. So some of you may be wanting to go on a cruise or wanting to get on an airplane or a bus because you want to do some sort of long distance traveling, but Spirit is saying financially to like save the money and to wait. And Spirit is saying to be patient. Um, some of you are not wanting to be patient because you're worried that if you don't do it now, you'll never do it or something like that. Um, so it's, Spirit is saying to just have patience um, you actually need your money for something else. So don't be like getting on a cruise or an airplane or a bus when, or just something like that when it comes to a very long distance traveling or out of the country type of traveling. Spirit is saying to save that money for something else um, and to be patient. You will be able to travel or do these things, but Spirit's just saying now is not like the time to try to make an itinerary or plan this out or something like that. But if you guys are wanting to travel like an hour or two away, that's fine. What, Cause what I'm seeing is more long distance than that. So just watch your spending habits because some of you are wanting to like do a lot of like long distance traveling, but Spirit is saying to watch your spending habits to put this trip on wait on pause or something like that, or I don't know. Or to do things more or less expensive if you were to travel long distance or something. With the full card, this is, I feel like people don't really understand you at work. Like they don't understand your work proposals, your business proposals. They don't understand your, like maybe your methods of how you work or your decisions when it comes to work. It's like people don't understand it or they don't support it. It's like people are not very supportive or not very understanding with you when it comes to work. And Spirit is saying you don't have to explain yourself. With the Fool card, you don't have to explain yourself to these people. You don't have to over explain yourself. Um, you don't, I don't know. It's like if you know what you're doing is right for you, then go for it. Don't let other people's, 
you know, judgments of you hold you back. Like definitely go for something that you want to go for, even if people don't support or understand it. Um, for some of you, this is coming out because you're going to be finding a new position with work, a new employment or a new position or a new shift. Um, for some of you, this could be actually your existing job. Yeah, for some of you, you and other people were in line for a promotion and you're the one that's going to get picked for the promotion. So if you're at a existing job now and you've been waiting on a, on a promotion or if you and other people have been waiting on some sort of pr promotion or a job position, you're the one that's going to get picked. Either you're going to get this, this higher up job position or this job position that everyone else wants or you're going to get this promotion. You're either going to get promoted or you're going to get the promotion or position that other people want. Um, so for some of you, the full card is coming out because it's this could be the time for you to go off on your own and start your own business for some of you. And I feel like some of you, you've been thinking about starting your own business for a very long time. And I feel like some of you are going to go through with it, even if people don't understand it or support it. Um, so let's see what comes out. You could try to talk to these people to try to get them to understand where you're coming from and why you're doing the things you're doing or how, or why you, how you do the things you do them or something like that. Um, but if they don't understand or support, just don't worry about it. Keep it moving. I feel like you, you guys know what's best for you. You guys know what you want to pursue. Um, anytime I see the full card, I just think of someone trying to follow their passions and taking that leap of faith to do so. So let's see what comes out with my success oracle cards to give you guys some advice. Okay, these are the same three cards as Pile 2. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Okay, so the same three cards, Oracle cards, came out in Pile 2. The Lover's card also came out in Pile 2. So Pile 2 and Pile 3 may actually be connected. And since the same three cards came out for this pile, this is just about you marketing yourself, researching, make sure you're dotting your I's, crossing your T's, make sure that you're doing everything um, by a, some sort of standard or... Make sure you're doing everything legally with your business that you want to start. Um, some of you may be called to get an LLC. Um, some of you really need to do your research and homework when it comes to whatever business you want to start. Um, if some of you are wanting to be content creators or live streamers or have a podcast or something like that, how do you want to market yourself when it comes to your personality, how you look? Um, how are you going to brand yourself or brand your business? How are you going to market it as well and make sure that you have everything in order, legally speaking, um, when it comes to this new idea or new business? So some of the numbers I'm seeing are 25, 2, 14, and 7. I do have to make this reading a little short. I apologize. I just have a lot of plans today. Um, so that's going to be everything for the reading. I love and appreciate you guys so very much. Um, I just, I don't know why I saw someone traveling to Greece. Maybe that's tied in with the overseas traveling. Someone maybe trying to go to Greece or something like that, or maybe someone that picked this pals from that area. I don't know, but that's pal three. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. Bye.